season has been uh, great. I mean, the guys have been training twice, twice a day for like a week and a half now. Yeah, I think they're they're frothing at the mouth to play and stop listening to the coaches uh, telling them what to do, uh, which is a good thing. So they're a little tired right now because we've been training so much. But today and tomorrow uh, we're tapering. Uh, tomorrow's just one short practice. And, and have a video session and then uh, go at it with uh, two matches on Friday. We do have like starters and then what I like to call finishers, like nobody's really a second teamer because in volleyball uh, you need everybody to help you win matches and you might start out great and get tired and everybody has a role on the team so they all feel included. Uh, that's, that's my a way I coach. I try to give everybody a role, even if it's just serving once or uh, coming in the back row for someone. I like them all feeling uh, like they have, that they, they participate in the victory or, or a loss. Our goal is to re repeat as uh, the CBC champs. I think that's a reasonable, uh, attainable goal, considering that they were in the top four last year and they won uh, the CBC. But uh, you know, college. Athletics, you know, there's turnover, and, and you know, we lost three key seniors, but we have guys stepping up, and uh, so it's kind of a new story every year. And uh, I think it's better to just kind of t take it a step at a time. See if we can win the conference, and then we'll, then we can uh, reset the trajectory, <laughs> depending on how well we do. But right now, I, I'm respecting all the teams in the league, you know, from the eighth place team to the top. I'm pretty much walking in expecting to win any game that we play because they did finish in the top four last year and we have a solid unit, whether that happens or not, but that's the way I'm coaching and I think I'm setting their expectations that they should win. And we play Wells first, which is a small school, I'm, and I'm, we're going in playing them just like we think we were playing Ohio State. I mean, we're going to not take anyone lightly and play try to do the things we've been practicing. And then we have Nazareth, that's a top 10 school in the ABCA preseason poll, so they'll be really good. And that's our second match of the day, so we might be a little tired, but so will they. And then there's Lakeland and, and SUNY, that they're all, uh, that's on Saturday. So, you know, I'm hoping to go 4-0, but it is a preseason, those are not conference games, and I, I like to, like I said before, play everyone, they all have a role, and, uh, and uh, you know, just see what happens. There's a pretty big age difference between myself and these guys, uh, and I love it that they want to have fun, because after all, it's a sport, right? They're playing a game. Um, <laughs> I hope I don't squelch that in any way, uh, unless they, you know, I do set limits. I don't want them to go too far overboard, but, uh, um, having fun's an important part. Once you stop having fun playing sports, you might as well, you know, go fishing. Yeah. So.